the Algerian executive decrees setting the conditions and procedures for exercising the activity of a new vehicle dealership, as well as carrying out the vehicle for making activity, were published on Thursday in the 76th edition of the official Gazette. These two decrees were published in accordance with the instructions of the Algerian president of the Republic, Abdelmajid Tebboun. He had ordered during the last meeting of the cabinet to make public Thursday, November 17, 2022, the specifications governing the activities of car manufacturers and dealers. The new Algerian legal draft stipulates in its second article the installation of a group of vehicles. Its fifth article requires vehicle manufacturers to achieve an integration rate that develops 10% at the end of the second year, 20% at the end of the third year, and achieves an integration rate of 30% by the end of the fifth year. Inclusion percentages are determined by a joint ministerial decision between the ministers in charge of industry and finance. If the integration rates stipulated in the fifth article are not achieved, the decree approved the set of procedures, granting producers concerned additional 12-month reprieve, with a 20% reduction from the multi-year supply program, reducing its remaining and installed import stock, and if the producer does not achieve the expected integration rate after the expiration of the additional deadline, its supply program will be frozen until the physical integration rate is achieved. Producers must carry out vehicle export operations in accordance with the undertaking contained in the initial application at the end of the fifth year from the approval date. The two decrees aim to establish a real national industry in the field of vehicle manufacturing, with the mobilization of local handling, as well as providing the necessary conditions to encourage the establishment of world-renowned suppliers who are active in the vehicle manufacturing branch. The Algerian executive decrees has granted many privileges, as vehicle manufacturers in the country benefit from a preferential tax system.